Hello, my dear children. Today, we are going to read a very nice story called Juanita and the Beanstalk. Now, you must know that this is a fairy tale. A fairy tale. And I know that you watched and read many nice fairy tales. Now, a fairy, to a fairy tale sorry, uh, has uh, like magical characters. Fine. It involves magic. It also has a happy ending. Okay, children? Uh, now, let's read. And of course, uh, the fairy tale has events, contains events that can never happen in real life. Fine? So, three things that can make you know the fairy tale. It's, it has something like magical about its events. Also, uh, it has, uh, you know, events that can never happen in real life. And also, the ending of a fairy tale is all the time happy. Okay, let's read the question. The essential question. How do we get what we need? Read about what Juanita does to get what she needs. Now, Juanita is living with her mother. Now, they are a poor family. They don't have enough food to eat. Let's read and know what Juanita and her mother will do to get food. Let's read the story. Juanita lived in a small, humble cottage with her mama and her pet goat, Pepe. Now, what do you think? A poor family lives in a fancy cottage or a humble cottage? Yeah, you got it right. A humble cottage, which means very simple, very simple, right? So, one day, Mama said, there has been no rain and our garden has dried up. Juanita, you must go to town and sell your goat. Use the money you get as payment to buy some food. So, this is bad news for Juanita because she has to sell her dear goat, Pepe. Now, the mother told her to pay some money and buy food. I don't want to sell Pepe, cried Juanita. She petted the goat lovingly. She loved, you know, she loved her pet goat, right? She didn't want to sell it, but she was an obedient girl and would not disobey her mother. She is an obedient girl. She says yes to her mother all the time. Reluctantly, she took Pepe to town. Now, reluctantly means you do something while hating to do it. Now, suppose that I have a nice book, for example, and I have to sell it. It's my favorite book. I will reluctantly do it. I will sell it, but I will not be happy about that. So, she took Pepe to town. On her way, she met an old man. She met an old man who patted Pepe kindly. He's for sale, 
said Juanita with tears in her eyes. The man replied, I have no money, but I have some special frioles. Now, this story seems to be Spanish, and this word frioles is Spanish, which means beans. If you plant these beans, you will never go hungry again. We can barter, which means we can exchange. You give me the goat, I give you the beans, and I will trade you these beans for your goat. Do you think it's good to exchange three seeds, three beans with the goat? What do you think? Is what Juanita did okay or not okay for you? Juanita thought carefully as she considered the man's offer. Considered means thought about. Fine. He seemed caring and considerate. Now, considerate means very nice. He was, she thought he was caring and very nice. Certainly, he would be kind to Pepe. So, Juanita finally decided to sell Pepe. She accepted the beans. When Juanita got home, Mama was upset with her decision. You have returned home with no food and no money, she exclaimed. Juanita had to admit that Mama was right. Now, admit means to say the truth. For example, I admit that I did something bad to say the truth about it. Juanita had to admit that Mama was right. All she had were three beans and she still missed Pepe. Worst of all, Mama was unhappy. So, the mother was unhappy, you know, because Juanita got them no food. Juanita planted the beans in the backyard and went to bed. And here comes magic. The next morning, she woke up and went outside. A gigantic, a huge, a very big beanstalk, as tall as the clouds, stood where, where Juanita had planted the beans. Juanita was curious. Curious means she wanted to know more. I'm going to see what's up there, she said to herself. So Juanita climbed the beanstalk. At the top, she saw a grand and magnificent palace. Magnificent means very big and very fancy. So at the top, she saw a grand and magnificent palace in the middle of a field. She knocked on the door and a maid answered. A maid means a servant. Hide, cried the maid. The giant is coming now and he doesn't like strangers. So Juanita quickly crawled under the table. And you can see, my children, that there are some events that can never be true in real life, like the, 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 the beanstalk, like, you know, climbing up it and, you know, finding a palace. Uh, also, the giant can never be real, right? We can't, like, find one in real life. The giant stomped in, carrying an unhappy hen in a cage. Look, we have a cage and inside there is a hen. He said, 
Lay, hen, lay. Juanita's curiosity grew. So Juanita wanted to know more about the hen, and she peeked from under the table. She began to uh, have secret looks at the hen. Then she saw the hen's creation. She saw what the hen uh, made. Juanita gasped. <gasps> you gasp when you are what? Astonished. When you are very surprised. It was a golden egg. Of course, this is, you know, another thing that can never happen in real life, right? Which is a hen laying a gold egg. The poor hen reminded Juanita of Pepe. She wanted to give it a better home. She ran between the giant's legs and grabbed the cage. She raced to the beanstalk. The giant roared in anger, which means shouted very loudly, and chased after her. Juanita was able to slide down the beanstalk, but the giant was too heavy. He caused the stalk to break and, and crash to the ground. The beanstalk was gone forever, and Juanita and the hen were safe. The hen was happy to have a new home and laid many golden eggs. Mama was happy to use the eggs to buy everything they needed. So, because of the golden eggs, the family is no longer poor. And Juanita was happy because she was able to trade a golden egg with the old man to get Pepe back. Wow, what a nice story. Do you like this story, my children? That's very great. Okay. Now, children, we are going to discuss the vocabulary words that we had in the story. Now, the first word is admit. Josh had to admit to his mom that he got dirt on her clean sheets. And now, we have your friend Sumaya, and she's going to try to use the word admit in a sentence. Can you, Sumaya? I admit that I drove the cup. I admit that I broke the cup. Excellent, Sumaya. And the second word is barter. You know what barter is, Sumaya? No. Look, I don't have money. You give me your toy, I give you my pencil. Do you agree? This is barter, which is exchange. I give you something and you give me something else. Me and my sisters do that. You and your sisters do that? Very good. Now, considered. If you consider something, you think about it. Fine, look, Marta thought carefully as she considered which tomato to buy. And creation, something you create, something you make. Ella admired her creation in art class. Okay, humble. Sumaya, do you think very rich people like kings and queens live in fancy houses or humble houses? Fancy, excellent. So humble means mean. And the next word is magnificent. Do you think the king's palace is going to be humble or magnificent? Can you speak up? Magnificent, right. And payment. For You can say, for example, my father is going to use this money as payment for his new car. And reluctantly, the goats stepped reluctantly down the steep path, which means they hated to do it. Okay, children, I wish you liked the video. Enjoy your time. And Sumaya, my daughter, is greeting you. Say hello, Sumaya. Hello. Speak up. Hello. Okay, bye-bye, and see you soon. Bye,